So COVID happened, and my son had moved across the country to the San Francisco Bay Area. And that was always his dream to work in big tech. So there he is working in big tech. And normally we would get together three or four times a year. I'd try to make it out to see him for Thanksgiving for sure. He'd make it back around the Christmas holiday. And maybe he'd be back in the summer. I'm there again another time during the year, but COVID happened and we weren't going to do that this year. We couldn't figure out who would want to take the risk and what that would mean to our family if someone contracted it. So we stayed in place and that worked pretty well for a while. We were doing our own thing and staying in communication, chatting from time to time. And, and then enough months went by, a year went by. We hadn't seen each other and we weren't talking as much. And Victor started ordering these food um, packages. And uh, that was sort of out of necessity for him because his tech job stopped serving meals and he hadn't learned how to really cook. So he was learning to cook with these packages being delivered. Oh boy, when the, when the pandemic hit, I, I didn't know how to cook for myself. I used to eat at work, I used to eat out and you know, when everything's closed down, you can't go into the office anymore. You know, I had to fend for myself and not knowing how to cook, I was, I was in bad shape, right? I could, I could get something, but you know, this is where things like Blue Apron and Gobble and these kinds of meal kits really, really came in handy for me because all the instructions are right there. They tell you what to do and it tastes really good. Like it's actually, the things I make taste better than what I can buy in a restaurant. And, you know, it takes some time, but it's just right here in my own kitchen. And I thought, that is really cool because I am so tired of my own repetitive cooking. Maybe we could share this. Maybe we could do this together and open up our communication more because I was really fe feeling us separating and, and going our own directions. And I absolutely didn't want that because we were always so well connected. It was also really interesting because, you know, my mom is back in Wisconsin, uh, in Oregon, and I'm out here in California. You know, I have friends and things, but I don't need family out here. And it was just nice because, you know, we both have to eat. We both want to see each other more often. And it just ended up making sense that like, you know, families share meals together, you know, cooking and baking was a thing I did growing up with my mom, not so much cooking, but baking. And, it just, it made so much sense to just have, have this time together where we could cook the same thing, we both make the same meal, then eat the same, same meal and have a chance to talk to each other over Zoom. So we did this. He, um, it started out with him ordering a package and I said, hey, would you mind sending me that recipe because I'll go to the store and I'll get all of the ingredients to do this with you. And then we decided on a Friday night we'd get together and cook. So he had his package and it was really cool the way it was all put together. And I had my ingredients together and we'd make this dinner and sit down. And he said one night, you know, I really want you to experience this just the way he was just how fun it was to get everything put together in one place and open up these bags of food and have it all organized. Because sometimes, sometimes I was having a problem finding the right fresh ingredients. I was going to various stores, which was fine, and making substitutions. But maybe it would be really neat if we did exactly the same thing. And I said, sure, that's interesting. And he said, well, no worries, because I'm already sending it to you. And honestly, I can't tell you, I can't even express how humbling that is. I mean, I'm the parents accustomed to providing him with his meals or his needs. And now he's like, 
don't worry, Mom, I've got this covered, and I'm going to send it to you so we can have this mutual experience. And he did that. And it's just, well, it's just so touching, and, and it's been just such a joy. I, once a week, we get together on a Friday or Saturday night, whichever night is more available to us, and we open up these boxes and put the food together and sit down and enjoy a meal together. In this kind of time when you're on your own all the way across the country, it, you know, it brought us closer together. And we've had conversations I don't think we would have had before. We talked more than we did before the pandemic. And we see each other face to face, or at least over FaceTime, more than we did before. Hey, hi, Victor. It's good to see you. I've been looking forward to this all week. Me too. What do we have for tonight? Well, we have a couple choices, but the one I pulled out is seared steak with sautéed squash and eggplant. What do you think of that one? Done. Okay, well, it's a match. Excellent. I'm going to go grab the steak out of the refrigerator. What do we do first? Because the first part of this is always a scissors operation. Here we go. Get that menu out. I have one squash thing. One squash, squash, eggplant. I have paper, zucchini, zucchini. Yep. Feta. Feta. Tomatoes. Feta, cherry tomatoes. And some that goes green harissa. Everything checks out. Awesome. And then what do we do? Okay, good question. Time to read for a moment. I'm putting okay. a little of the harissa on, Victor. This is looking really good. This is looking amazing. Oh okay, wait, God. I want to see yours. I'll show you mine. This is mine. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Oh, your, oh, okay. Yours looks professional. Can you see mine? Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, higher, nice. higher up. Ooh, uh, I, mean, I it's not, a second there. It's not terrible, but it's it, yours looks really nice. I'm going to get a little bit of everything. Not me. I'm going right for the steak. Mmm. Mmm. Nice char. I learned just, so much just doing this. Like I, you know, I barely had a knife in the kitchen when I started. Yes. And yes. And now you have, now you have plenty of things to do meals like this. And you know what else is really cool? Remember those couple recipes we've saved? in perpetuity wow. now they're so like good the, the, the chicken tacos and things yeah yeah we got new family yeah. recipes out of it we did we have new family recipes i mean forever that's really neat I just feel so lucky to be able to spend an, an afternoon with you cooking just getting a box every week with good things i can make and my mom getting the same thing it just it, it's really nice and it made it it really brought me closer together with my mom than I was before the pandemic. And so I, I mean, the pandemic's been really hard, but I think one good thing that came out of it was in some ways I spend more time with my family now than I did before. And it feels like, to me, it just feels like we're cooking side by side and it's, it's given us the opportunity to talk about topics we normally wouldn't because that comfort level is so high between us when we're having this mutual experience.